Just under 18 hours away from the Utes in Washington, Pac-12 championship. Jeremiah Jensen in San Francisco now to get us ready for this one. JJ? Yeah, Rod, eight years after joining the Pac-12, the Utes finally get their shot at a Pac-12 championship and a Rose Bowl invite. It didn't look good back in September when they lost to the Huskies 21-7. But after that game, Jack, uh, Cody Barton, he still had confidence they would get here, and he said so after that loss. I'm confident that we'll see them again in the Pac-12 Championship, and that we're going to win the South, and uh, you know, that's, that's our goal. Well, some call me the Oracle. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm not a big, like, putting things out there, calling things out like that, but I just felt, I just felt confident, so I said it, and, you know, even though we lost, I felt I had confidence in this team. The whole team has confidence in ourselves and belief in ourselves. And, uh, you know, here we are. Cody wasn't the only player that expected a rematch. We always knew it was going to be those guys coming out of the South. So. Why? Just a real good team. Yeah. Just a real good team. When we played them, they, they played all the way to the end. And even when it was kind of in hand, they were still fighting hard. So, I mean, it was very, very impressive yeah. for those guys. Yeah. You know, you put them back on right now, and you're like... Not surprising that we're playing those guys. They've gotten better. Miles Gaskin has rushed for more than 5,000 yards and 55 touchdowns in four years at Washington. Containing him will be key for the Utes. I've been preparing for him for a while. I've played against him a lot, and he's one of the best backs I've played against. If he gets, if he gets out and gets going and has a big game, uh, our chances aren't real good. On the other side, the Huskies have a lot of respect for the Utah defense. And their defense is... Their defense is lights out. Um, this is as good a defense as, as we will face in our conference. Top five defense in the country. Uh, really going to be a big challenge. It's going to come down to the toughest team, the team that's most resilient, makes the, the most plays, executes the best, is going is to come out on top. Two physical teams, two teams that play great defense, two teams that want to run the football. It's going to be a battle Friday night, 6 p.m. kickoff for the Pac-12 championship. Rod, back to you. All right, Jeremiah, thank you.